Hello, welcome back to Shadow of War. I'm Jade Star. I'm Iron Man PK. And today we're going to finish up the Eltariel DLC. Oh. Uh, a very, very canonical episode for everything <laughs> to, to culminate this DLC with. Yeah. Tariel's the one giving the charge order. Apparently, yeah. Oh, whatever. Is she gonna give a victory speech? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Towards the gate. I don't know where he is now. There he was, he was right there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look. Only one unaffected by that. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Yeah, Rip Flint. Oh no! One half of the best orc out there. Like, he could have given Talion and Eltaril a chance to save him. Like. Well. Oh. I mean, I think... Oh, you mean the bleed-out state, right? Yeah, okay, sure. Maybe. Um, I was thinking, like, well, if Talion saves him, he's coming back as undead, man. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> There's any number of things either Eltariel or Talion could have done to take that guy out. I mean, because that guy only knows one thing. And that's boom. Apparently. Look, he lived, or he died as he lived. Exploding. Oh god. Thanks, Prim. It would have been funny if there'd been an orc who'd been that creepy about Talion. Uh, there can be. Uh, enemy orcs can get obsessed with Talion and be incredibly creepy about it. Oh, yeah. So nice to fight like normal captains. Yes, 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 oh yeah. These guys don't have a million resistances to everything. Oh, 
most amuses me that that just knocks over our friends. Yeah. Can Elthariel infuse friendly orcs with light? I don't think so. I think light heals friendly. Oh! Or at least, well, not the, the flashlight power, but like the uh, the big spear. Um, that will that will heal friendlies. Okay. You're just gonna watch this guy. I know the spiders that hit him and make an opening. He's rather difficult. And then I realized, yeah. oh, uh, the next capture point's not going so well. Yeah. This is a this is a usual thing that can happen on this layout. Um, on regular conquests as well. Uh, because just towards the castle there could be two siege grabs or siege beasts. Uh, oh really? Yeah, right. Oh up there, there. No, yeah, yeah, right. So Is that what happened to those guys? I would assume so. So they fight down there in the pit and you can see that there's two siege beasts that could just fill the pit with artillery. Uh Damn it, Leonardo de Orc. Uh. Oh dear. Couldn't Shadow Strike them. Somehow Shadow Strike is an arrow. Well. That makes sense, I guess. Does it? Well, you're firing an arrow at them and teleporting with it or something, aren't you? Like... No. <laughs> no? Uh. Alright, well, at least Maki will fix that problem for me. That war chief is giving me trouble. Lines that they record for him. <laughs> A lot, which is actually great. Talion helping out. They're really strong. So, uh, the next boss coming up uh, was actually a difficult fight. Uh, there's going to be a really smooth edit right here as we open the door. Uh, I actually lost the first time because I did not realize what the gimmick of this fight was. And in retrospect, it was dumb that I did. Potentially, it's dumb. Um, so they have a couple of... We thank uh, one, you for one thing I've ne uh, that never come up in the game before. And so the first time, I didn't know how to counter it. And it's this. Oh. So uh. the, and, of course, the counter is white. So yeah. The first time that happened, I didn't know what the hell that was or what I was supposed to do to get rid of it. 
uh, and that kind of gets you a kill, because when those chains are attached, you can't dodge roll. Oh. Also, the other thing is, notice how barely visible these guys are right now, and how, yeah. that, and how that execute did no damage. Guess right, this... you've got to make them corporeal using light. Yep. So, not realizing those things the first time I walked into this fight, uh, did not go well for me. Uh, Fair there, enough. There is other one other surprise mechanic uh, that'll show up later in the fight. Now, it doesn't look like doing light damage to them or, like, blinding them and then trying to detonate them actually does any damage. But you do need to get them visible to hurt them. Also, right. it knocks them out of the sky when they do that, like, big... AOE unblockable multi projectile attack. I like their fighting style with the chains. Yep. Yeah. A lot of Looks flashy good. animations. It's great. Yeah, put some effort into that. I like it. This and the next fight, I think, are the ones that they they put a lot of effort into. Um, just because it's not puzzle work, so that just makes everything better. Yeah. Oh, here's the mechanic. So, I was oh. on health, so I'm pressing the button to start healing, and immediately as I start healing, both of them do an almost instantaneous, unblockable projectile attack. Yeah, I see that! So you can't heal in this fight. Oh. oh wow! It's more moves. Yeah. Except, Psych, I can get up here and heal up the <laughs> So I unfortunately saw this chain attached to me. I love the concept that these Nazgul are like trying to like take over Mordor. <laughs> Well, Sauron's now a giant, like, uh, Visine commercial. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an eyedropper to remove redness and irritation. Hey! Putting loads of animation to this fight. Yeah, it's great. I'm really liking it. It's actually a good fight when you realize that, of course, this whole campaign is based around light. I need to use light for any of the new things that they do. Oh, light's running out. that creates a giant poison explosion. Uh, because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna miss the shot, but... Or no, I'm not gonna get my might up. But might plus um, the bow attack creates a big white sphere explosion. Right. Would provide me with an area to do a lot of damage to him. And if I stand in it, I think I heal. So there it is, that. Oh, except he teleported. Yeah. yeah, see? Walk into this and, and I heal. Doesn't get rid of the chain. No. Whatever.
possess the rings. The rings will possess you. The glory of the kingdom. We honor you, Father. It seems you honor yourselves, the rings. Steady, Ranger. Uh, uh. <coughs> My time has come. Take me home to Gondor. Take the ring. Now. You will not get another chance. Please. Don't let me die in this cursed land. You told me once when the time came you would do this needed. Give me the ring. Such a little thing. Why should I give it? Talion, do not betray the man you were. You speak to me of betrayal. You abandoned me. You and Celebrimbor. You took everything from me. I have fought this war alone. Talion, you are not alone. This ring is mine. And Talion is no more. Oh! Who could have seen this coming? Right. To listen to Gladriel. Yeah. I will do what I vowed long ago. No.
So he still does the jump and disengage thing, but I had a lot less difficulty uh, in this fight than the first time around when it was just him. That's just because he normally doesn't just constantly disengage. Also, he has Shadow Strikers, which is really handy. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured he would not want to stand in, but he doesn't actually seem to mind. Yeah, he got a bit of light in him, I guess, but... guys that you had infused already, they just disintegrated when you did the spear. Oh, yeah. Uh, looks like there's four of them. It does! Are they all Talion or are there three other... No, they're, they're all of the... Let's see, unnamed ones at this point? Because let's right. see, Italian would make one, those guys would make five, six Which and case? seven would be, uh, six and seven would be the, the Asian ladies at this point, I guess. Right. Uh, and then eight and nine would be Helm and Suladon. Very canonical. Yeah, super canonical. Uh, prior to this recording, I had to ask Olish about The Lord of the Rings a little bit because uh, I don't know the books at all. Uh, I had to ask him if uh, Middle Earth Asia was actually a thing. Oh, it is? Yeah, I did not know that. The Easterlings. Well, they get like mentioned once in the movies, I think. And I yeah. always assumed the Easterlings were like the deserty baddies that were riding the, the elephants. Oh, maybe, whatever. Aren't there also South Rons? I, I don't know. Like I said, I've <laughs> only watched the movies and barely at that. I will destroy you. You will fail as you have. Where is this fight taking place? Uh, right in front of Minas Morgul's tower. Right. This is the front gates, you know, where we have the siege. Yeah, and, okay. Uh, like, Sergeant One-Eye dude got hit by Balefire. Oh, Sergeant One-Eye. Yeah.
song is out of breath in my body. My fate is my own. Your work here is done. We will go into the West. Not yet. In the years that followed, Eltario continued to fight the forces of darkness. She traveled east, and she returned to Mordor many times. She witnessed the fall of Barad-dûr and the escape of Celebrimbor. The Ringmaker is free. He calls to you. I will follow his call. Yeah, that's how it ends. Uh, I don't know what's supposed to be kind of implied by following Calibrimbor's call, but presumably nothing good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I since it's like been established that he's horrible, <laughs> right? No, we knew it was like, an L from the start. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the whole thing Shelob was saying about how if he'd won, it would have been just as bad, if not actually worse, than, than Sauron having won. Sauron around. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, what it sets up is continuing the story after the books, um, so that they can no longer fuck with the canon. Oh, okay. Um... I had a good time with that DLC. I mean, the the puzzle captains were kind of the low part, but I mean, I wish the rest of it had been that la like as well paced as the last bit. That was that was interesting. Like, oh no, that was super good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just wish the whole DLC had been like that. Uh, but we're not quite done with the LP yet. There is one more DLC to go, uh, and it's great. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll tease you on this much, Armin. We get to play as Baranor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, it's yeah. I, I I did quite enjoy most of Eltariel's canonical adventure. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll be interesting. Because oh. I assume he doesn't have any fucking powers. No, he doesn't. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see how that turns out uh, next time when we get around to uh, the what's it the the desert of wastes whatever we're going to Lithuania. Remember the desert? We're going there. Right. All right, right. Uh, Desolation of Mordor, I think that's what it's called. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!